The following screencast will demonstrate how to use some of Acknowledge's filters and FFT functionality to clean up an EMG signal that was recorded inside an MRI. And this is the file in question and we can see there's a large band of noise while the MRI was firing and then once the scanner had stopped firing we then start to see the bursts of EMG over here but during the actual firing the signal was just swamped with the noise from the scanner. Now there's a very nice filter in Acknowledge that will allow us to remove a lot of this noise but in order for that filter to work the filter in question is the comb band stop filter. We need to know the frequency of the noise that's occurring. Now I'm going to select a chunk of data like so and typically you want to have somewhere in the region of uh, uh, power of 2 but we'll see how that's worked out. If I go to the analysis menu and select FFT I'm going to pad with the last point, uh, remove mean, magnitude, and linear. Uh, this is um, going to, yeah, it's going to pad a little bit, but not too much. 1048576, and I've selected 1031472. So we'll give this a go, see what we get. Okay, now if I zoom in a little bit. So this is the actual FFT and we can see the harmonics of the, the signal and if I come along here and I place my cursor somewhere on this first peak oops, it's about 15 hertz if I come out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so this is the tenth harmonic here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more around that. And I'm going to highlight that one. And I'm going to select maximum frequency. So here we have it, uh, 153.84764. So if we divide that by 10, we're at 15.384674. I'm going to use that number to enter into the comb band stop filter. So if we come in here, I'm going to use my value of 15.384674 I'll leave the Q the same I'll go all the way up through the band and I'm going to transform the entire waveform hit OK This will transform the data over here, but it shouldn't do any harm. The, it will eliminate, hopefully, most of the noise while the MRI was in operation. So now we can see where our subject was. I'm not sure what they were doing, clenching their arm. And we can see these bursts of EMG data. So that gives you a quick demonstration of how to use the FFT fast Fourier transformation to identify the frequency components of the noise and then use the comb band stop filter to take out that frequency component all the way through uh, all the different harmonics. And then what you end up with is hopefully a nice clean EMG signal or whatever signal it is you're looking for. Anyway, that concludes our demonstration of the FFT and comb 
band stop filter.